Granero uh, loses out in midfield. One or two challenges flying in. Here's a chance now for Tommy Doherty. It's going to be sprayed to the left and Jake Gosling now. Queen's Park Rangers have to do some defending. Gosling with it. And Mark Green makes the save. And this time with a re ricochet. Liam Serkin couldn't guide it goalwards, but Robert Green, it came flying at him. Saw it rather late and managed to palm it away. Good strong wrist from uh, Robert Green, but a round of applause from the Exeter fans. Yeah. Went to form a couple of... Uh, Defensive partnerships last season, of course, uh, spelled with uh, Ryan Nelson when uh, he was at Queen's Park Rangers before moving on to uh, coaching the MLS. Here's Wright Phillips, and well, just enough of a, a contact from Craig Woodman, I think, it ballooned up in the air between the pair of them, and uh, the Exeter goalkeeper able to make the uh, make the toilet uh, with a chance for Queen's Park Rangers, and that's Umbia. Snapped effort from uh, Stefan Umbia, tried to guide it really, didn't uh, make the best of contacts that he would have wanted to. No, right he's down well, Troy Oro, but he's got away from one marker, and that's good work, actually, from the former Arsenal man, and still an opportunity. Pizzek in the end made a scuffled block away, Pat Baldwin almost. I think in a, in a competitive game, Troy Oro may have been tempted to go down because there was a little grasp of the shirt, possibly, from Baldwin. Pizzek was alert, and it sort of skimmed off his shins. Yeah, it'll be allowed to bounce through towards uh, Woodman. Doherty. No one really attacking the fast stick. O'Flynn back to goal. Uh, strong play in the end and uh, uh, the left-footed shot from Liam Circle always sort of drifting away from goal, but the space was there to have a go. Yeah. Flynn is ahead of him and he's got Woodman on that <laughs> flank. And there is uh, Gosling! Oh, a little touch from O'Flynn. And that could have been the opening goal of the game, it, as it was. Only just drifted wide of Robert Green's left hand up. Yes. Andy Johnson's uh, nicked the ball. And this is a promising opportunity for Andy Johnson. And he forces a decent save in the end from Christy Pym. But uh, missing, of course, so much of last season with that knee problem, Andy Johnson. He would have enjoyed that. Here's Andy Johnson. And the referee says that the slider has got... Bennett was uh, an illegal one and a free kick in a handy position for Queen's Park Rangers. Yeah, it was a good little tie-up on the edge of the box. Uh, I think Johnson initially let it run past him into Mackey, back again, and then Johnson was like a third-man run and uh, trying to open himself up to get a shot in or go wide again and, and was brought down on the edge of the box. But it was, it was very, very quick and alert play on the edge of the box by Queen's Park Rangers. Jose Basinguis stood behind this free kick. Alejandro foul in as well. Sean Derry is the furthest man back. The exit to wall is back the required 10 paces. It will be Basingle with the free kick. Doesn't far. Doesn't far off. Uh, Here comes the corner kick. It's uh, over the top of Johnson. It's towards the far post. Reed won't get on the end of it. Simpson back into the danger area. Here's a flick. It's Sandy Johnson with it. And that's going to be... Clattered as far as Park Chi Sung. Will he uh, have an effort this time? He slices it wide uh, into the Queen's Park Rangers fans gather. It's played forward towards uh, Nichols. Spins it into Gow. Now things are opening up. Nichols is the man making the run into the area. Loud burst of excitement. Went to his head a little bit as uh, he drags his shot well wide. But Alan Gow didn't think he fouled uh, Young Suk Young. And the referee blow the whistle and he blows it three more times and brings the game to a conclusion here at St James Park. 0-0, final score. Uh, two